Dyson Hoover, Dyson Hoover, whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna try out a couple of uh, new intro ideas, all right? What's up, Lego fellows? No, 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 I'm not, no, not like that one. What a be, what a do, it's your boy, no. What's crack a lacking on my block and brick lover, no. Hello, Lego Alert Nation, and this is your host, Ryan, no. Yeah, um, none of them seem to be working. I'm just gonna have to return to the old-fashioned way. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ryan's Corner. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you're excited for some Lego content. Cause today, boys, we've got, bang, wrong way. Bang, we've got this bad boy. This is the Spider-Man versus Mysterio drone attack or something. God, the names of these sets are awful. It should be like Spider-Man shoots his webs all over Mysterio's face or some shit. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I was kind of looking at what I wanted to do. I was kind of working out my schedule and I was like, what do I want to build? And uh, I saw this set and I was like, I kind of want to build this now. I kind of want to do this set. I think it's due to the hype around the No Way Home trailer that I saw this and I was like, oh, I kind of want to do that now. So, um... Good marketing there, Marvel. Well done. Anyway, guys, enough chit-chat, enough messing about. Let's get into some package inspecting business. So here it is, guys. This is the Lego Spider-Man fucking Mysterio drone attack set, whatever. This is set number 761A4. And as you can see by the big red bubble down the bottom, this is a 4 plus set, which means that building in this is going to be pretty scarce. The overall packaging of this, guys, is fantastic, actually. It looks really, really nice. Marvel have really stepped up their packaging this year. And with the inception of the Infinity Saga, guys, we're kind of getting this brick pattern around the edges kind of this white bricks with the kind of different looks there to all the other marvel characters that is a really nice touch there that marvel have done for these boxes it says here at the top guys spider-man no way home as you can see but over here in this little gold fucking thing it says inspired by far from home so like that getting you there they're fucking getting you because you know all the four-year-olds out there are going to look at this and go oh no 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 that's not spider-man no way home that's from the other one the overall scene is pretty cool guys you have uh, nick fury in his truck here spider-man versus mysterio here we have this drone up here it looks really nice we have this kind of nice look of spider-man here on the side spider-man logo down the bottom looks pretty cool around the side there guys just this nice bold marvel logo which looks really great and kind of standard for these four plus sets guys the way we have kind of how to build it around the back you kind of see a quick look there and just has all the pieces kind of laid out here all the characters and all the different accessories you get anyway guys let's um Let's open this thing. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Open it up, guys. Let's do this. Bang. Two bags of Lego, guys. We should fly through this. And we get this one uh, brick piece here, which is pretty standard for these four plus sets. But I don't know if you can see at the bottom, it has like the kind of chassis pieces built onto it. What? So we're getting like three pieces in one kind of glued together for all you stupid four-year-olds out there. Instructions, guys. And we have two sets of instructions for like what? Like 10 steps or something? Why do we need two instructions? We have one. Uh, the first booklet is for Spider-Man Mysterio and his little drone. How many steps to this, guys? Uh, like 38. 38 steps. But I feel like with these four plus sets that like each step is like literally one brick. Whereas like a normal set would be like one step would consist of like 10 bricks. So it's not as many as 38 steps. No sets are in the back right guys, fuck it. And here's the other set of instructions, guys. This is for Nick Fury's car. And this has 49 steps, that's pretty cool. I do appreciate if we are gonna get two instructions that they give us two different covers, that's pretty cool. Anyway guys, let's uh, let's build this thing and uh, jump into a little in-depth review. Bang, and starting off with the minifigures, guys, uh, it has to be Spider-Man. First impressions, guys, this Spider-Man minifigure looks fantastic, I think he looks great. This is based off the suit from uh, far from home which i don't think we got in lego form so i think this may be the first time i really love the torso printer going on here guys uh, the elements of black there as well the printer there looks really great and of course that spider-man logo and the way it carries down from his waist into the legs guys that looks really great leg printing is fantastic guys he got some dual molded legs i love that and i just love the overall nice black color here guys which is strange for a spider-man usually we kind of have a, a red and blue look so i'm really liking this black look here no arm printing guys which is kind of disappointing but i wasn't really expecting it to be honest he does have the red gloves though which look great around the back there guys not much going on here just a nice clean finish to the rest of his back and um, i love the black color here and that spider-man logo there looks really nice the white kind of silvery uh, spider-man logo looks great and of course guys that face printing looks fantastic i love the eyes in this guys the eyes look so nice and the printing around the back there guys once again it doesn't really carry on which would have been nice but that's just lego minifigures spider-man also comes with this accessory here guys which you kind of attach to his hand one web piece and this big web piece which you can kind of get i guess you kind of hang him somewhere like this it looks a little bit sus but uh, it's a nice little accessory to get with him. I could be wrong guys but off the top of my head I, I think this might be the first time I've gotten a Spider-Man from the MCU like I've had a couple of Spider-Man figures but like based on the comics and the old TV show and stuff like that so like correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah guys I'm super happy with this minifigure moving on to the next guy 
Next up here, guys, we have Nick Fury. And holy shit, I am so happy to finally have Nick Fury in my collection. This minifigure is really nice, nice and plain, nice and simple, but it does fit the bill perfectly for Nick Fury. Of course, our print is really nice, guys. He has this nice kind of gray shirt underneath, and he also has this big long coat, which I love. Shield logo there looks fantastic. I love his belt and the way it carries down into the legs. Not much detail other than that in the legs, just a nice finish to his coat. Around the back there, guys, nothing really going on there. Just a nice clean finish to his back. And the face print in here is really nice, guys. I love his little beard there and his eye patch, which doesn't actually connect to the rest of his head that would have been nice to get that kind of carrying around there especially with a minifigure like this but um asher what can you do and he also comes with these kind of blasters he gets two of these little blasters which look kind of silly um, but they are better than stud shooters in my opinion i guess they could be like hydra technology or shield or whatever fucking technology i'm not too sure but overall guys i'm so happy to finally have nick fury and next up here guys we have mysterio and this guy looks absolutely sensational look at this minifigure this is my first time getting mysterio i had to pick the setup just specifically for him brand new torso print in here from mysterio in 2021 and um, i love that gold print in there it looks great and he also gets these little elements there of a uh, silver and these kind of reddish pinks and stuff oh it looks so good no arm print in here guys which is okay and he has these kind of nice gold gloves they look great torso carries down into the legs guys i love his little kind of midsection there in his waist and leg printing is absolutely amazing guys a little toe printing as well that's so great and he also comes with this jewel for some reason um i'm not too sure i absolutely love the cape here guys the cape piece looks so nice and um, just one hole as well which means he doesn't have a big collar or anything if you lift up his cape guys you can kind of see the print around the back guys that looks so great and a nice i love the way this kind of links into his cape this little pink piece here links into his cape really nicely and of course guys this head piece looks fantastic i absolutely love this crystal ball piece almost it looks really nice this kind of like you can kind of see the sparkles in there oh it's so good you can lift off the helmet here guys and he just has this kind of blue head um, I would have liked to have seen actual Mysterio's face, Jake Gyllenhaal's face. That would have been really nice to get. Um, same with Peter Parker, it would have been nice to get his face, but sure, it is what it is. But yeah, guys, overall, this minifigure steals the set for me. This guy looks absolutely fantastic. Next up here, guys, we have Nick Fury's vehicle, or the S.H.I.E.L.D. vehicle, or whatever, and... Um, it's just kind of shit. Yeah, here's his kind of truck, or car, or whatever, and it's just not great, is it? It's just pretty bare i spoke about it before but this kind of base piece here is all one piece and even these pieces here are, are like glued to it like what the fuck i know it's a four plus set guys but you have to be giving kids more to build than just this front here guys i love the way we get no stickers in four plus sets i really like that that's definitely a plus for me of four plus sets the front here i love this piece here the way it's not a sticker it looks so much nicer bonnet of the car is pretty boring guys i would have liked to have seen like a shield printed logo here or something that would have at least spruced up this car a little bit giving it a little bit more detail glass piece is pretty nice guys i kind of like these lights in the top around the back guys not much going on here just kind of the red lights there i really do like the way here we have a place to kind of put and uh, nick fury's guns uh, if you want to put them in the driver's seat i really like that with sets when they also include places to put weapons and accessories and stuff for that because a lot of the time like my, my imperial shuttle for example I know I got, I referenced this set a lot, but like Darth Vader's there, and when I put him in, I'm like, where do I put his lightsaber? There's just nowhere really to put it. Yeah, guys, I'll just sit Nick Fury in there now. He's just sitting there, and he looks really nice. He's a nice little fit there. Um, he's not going to see much out there, is he? Yeah, he's not going to see much out there, considering uh, the light's actually directly in front of him. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this car's not great, guys. Moving on. And next up here, we have a drone, guys, and this is just a bit of a stretch for me. There's just not a lot going on with this guy. There's kind of one base piece here, and you kind of just build on top of that. I like these pieces here. You kind of move them up whatever way you want. I like the kind of green here. That looks cool, I guess. This is definitely a build that really would have excelled with some stickers or some printed bricks here. Nice printed piece here, guys, but it's the exact same print on Mysterious Walkie Talkie. And around the back here, guys, we have this piece here. You kind of fire him out there. What? Oh, shit, okay, there you go. You get three of these, guys. So you put one in and you kind of throw the others wherever. Yeah, guys, not really blown away by this drone at all. Overall, guys, I do like this set. And um, you get three really great minifigures. If it wasn't for the minifigures, this set would not do as well at all. Builds are pretty bare, pretty bog standard. I know it's a four plus set, but I still think they need to be adding just a little bit more uh in the building area also i do think it's slightly overpriced for 20 euro you're not really getting a lot of value here i think if this set had been like 15 euro i think it would have been absolutely perfect so for now guys i'm going to give this guy a 7 out of 10 um the builds are okay minifigures are great slightly overpriced but the overall kind of product when you're finished building it is pretty good and i'm just super happy to get these three minifigures yeah guys for me yeah, i'm going to stick with it 7 out of 10 Bang, and there you have it, guys. There's the last look at the set. Overall, I do like this set, guys. I just think it's a little overpriced. Let me know what else you want to see on the channel, guys. Uh, we're now entering Christmas, so I'm going to have a few kind of Christmassy videos on the channel. So a few of them kind of Christmas sets I need to get through. Thank you so much for all the support and likes and sharing and all the videos. I really appreciate you guys at Whopper. Keep doing what you're doing. Until next time, guys, stay safe out there. <laughs>